del mismo en su caso. Hello guys, welcome back. Good to see you, everybody. Hope you are doing great. How are you, Ivania? How is everything doing? Hi, Miss. Hello, how are you? Fine. Fine. You? Great, I'm doing great, thank you. Okay, what about uh, you? Let's see. Uh, Ruth, what about you, Ruth? How are you today? Hello, Ruth. Yes, no, okay. What about you? Let's see. Oh, Gabriela, how are you, Gabriela? Hello. Hello, Gabriela. Okay, okay, maybe the microphone is not working. Okay, okay, thank you guys, welcome back, and that, let's go over the lesson, right? So before starting, tell me, George, what did we learn? What did you learn in last class? What did you learn, Jorge Orantes? In last class, mm -hmm. uh, we will learn about the season, mm -hmm. weather, uh, description in pres present continuous. Oh yeah. Yes or no question. Mm -hmm. Okay. E the last uh, description of the picture. Oh, describing pictures, right? The... Perfect. Okay. Yes, that is what we did last time, right? We described some pictures and uh, also we learned about the weather and season. Okay. Janira, tell me what's the weather like today? What's the weather like today, Janira? I the weather the weather I can weather Lima what's the weather ah, uh, uh, the weather uh, it's is it weather mm -hmm. it's it weather um, is mm -hmm. uh, how is the climate está haciendo calor is it sunny mm -hmm. is um, for me, no, 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 no. A fall. Oh, it is a, full. A mm -hmm. cool. Uh, it's oh, cool. it is full. Okay, it is cold, right? And it is cool. Okay. And wind. Oh yes, it is windy, right? Uh -huh, windy. It is windy. Yes. Perfect, Janira. Thank you. Okay. Yes, right. Some of the vocabulary that we learned today. Uh, for example, we learned about sunny, windy, cool, and all of these words related to that, to the, uh, to the weather and seasons. So uh, let's see what we have for the lesson. Remember that yesterday we were doing this activity. So there were some of you who couldn't finish. So I want to know if there is somebody who wants to 
describe the picture? Who wants to describe the picture? Uh, volunteers, who wants to describe the picture? Mm -hmm. Is there any volunteer from the ones that didn't present yesterday? De los que no presentaron ayer, hay alguien que who wants to participate? Okay, Alberto. Do you want to participate, Alberto? No? Mm, I think it is not working, your microphone. The microphone is not working. Okay, Ivania, can you give me a description of the pictures, please? Okay, another one. Yes, yes, any picture. Oh, okay. Uh, the teacher mm -hmm. is writing. What are writing? Writing in the what do you say? Pizarra board, board huh? on the board on the board. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy with the shirt yellow with the with yellow, the yellow shirt, shirt mm -hmm. yes is explained to her mm -hmm. i don't know what <laughs> <laughs> i don't care <laughs> <laughs> and como digo la chica de atrás the girl behind the the girl behind is reading mm -hmm. the book mm -hmm. and the boy with I don't know if it's boy or girl with the green shirt. Okay, I think it's a boy. Yes, me too. Mm -hmm. uh, he is typing mm -hmm. and the others, I, I don't understand. Oh, but you, you did a very good job with that explanation. It's awesome. It's enough. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ivania. So guys, yes, right. We learn about some of the birds. Some of you uh, describe a picture about shouting, uh, some of they were exploding, right? The balloons clapping too. Some of you were using these verbs. So uh, today we're going to continue study some of the present continuous rules and that uh, we're going to have some activities. So what, why is the body language, guys? Let's go with that. What is the body language, Carlos? What do you know about the body language or why? What, what is that? When do you use the body language? Carlos, what is the body language for you? ¿Qué es el body language? Um, I, I don't understand body language. For example, when you are in an interview, cuando estamos en alguna entrevista, ellos analizan el body language, right? If we are nervous, uh, we say something with our hands. If we do something with our body, yes. Expressions, right? Expressions. Yes, that's right. Okay, so we're going to read this and then you're going to tell me what do you think about the body language. Can you please start, Carlos, with the first part? Uh, the body language is, is a crucial, a yeah. crucial part of the face-to-face -face communication. Someone experts say the nineteen three persons of the communication is is not verbal. Of course, the meaning of the body language varies from culture to culture. Even in on one culture, expert don't always agree on the meaning of very history. Yes, mm -hmm. However, here mm -hmm. are some time theme and to remember um, for you next conversation, meeting in interview. Mm -hmm. They apply in a mass to communication in North America. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Uh, for example, as, the, as this text says, right, the body language 
it is not it is something that it is a uh, culture right it is one thing that it is not related to all, all the cultures they are totally different so is there a word here that do you have questions hay alguna palabra any word that you want me to say or maybe to check pronunciation or the meaning for example in el primer párrafo mm -hmm. any word guys or any doubt about the first paragraph No, okay, perfect. So, sure. let, yes, Jorge. Gesture. Oh, no sé oh, gesture. Oh, gestures. Gestures. Gesture. Yes. Mm -hmm. Gestures. What is okay. the meaning? Gestures. Los gestos, right? Gestures. Gestures. Mm -hmm. okay. gestos. Yeah, the gestures. Okay. Uh, any other? Any other? Okay. So let's continue. What what it says about this body language, right? So can you help me, uh, let's see, uh, Rita, oh no, no, Rita, sorry, you, you participated. Can you help me, Alberto, maybe you can help me now or no, you are frozen. Okay, can you help me, uh, Josué, please, how are you sitting? Vamos a ver qué nos indica la forma en cómo nos sentamos, right? How are you sitting? Hello. Mm -hmm. This paragraph. Uh, lean forward, the other person to show you are interested in, in the what her she is saying no to show you are listening. Okay, so for example, when we lean upon when we apoyamos or we are moving. So we are saying something, right? So that is part when we are uh, when we are sitting. ¿Qué estamos haciendo, right? When we are sitting. What is the meaning? Okay, continue. Can you please help me, Eden Nilsson? Um, the second. Yes, the second. Are you crossing your arms? Estamos crossing your arms. What happens? Uh, crossing your arms can seem defensive. In an argument, it can mean you don't agree. Oh, yes, right. Crossing your arms. A veces vemos a las personas que están así, ¿verdad? Right. And uh, according to that, it means that you are not agree, que no estamos de acuerdo con algo. Maybe some people do that when they are crossing your, the arms. So, estaba, well, teacher, uh -huh. estaba viendo una palabra que era, es como nueva para la mayoría, uh -huh. pienso. El yes. No, no, oh, to, no. no it is show. It's como a sentir. Y, y también como saludar con la cabeza, right? That is not too. That is another meaning. Okay. okay that can be one. Okay. So another. Okay. Let's go with the next paragraph. Can you help me, Ruth? What are your hands doing? ¿Qué están, qué están haciendo your hands, right? So can you help me, Ruth? Uh, Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, where you where hands are... doing? Mm -hmm. uh, keep your hands out, hands open. Mm -hmm. uh, some experts say, mm -hmm. uh, say that sí. when you keep your hands under the table, mm -hmm. it can uh, mean. mean? mean you are not telling the truth truth, truth. Mm -hmm. over 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 mm -hmm. a hands on the cheek hand hoods mean yes. you are this this thinking thinking, thinking okay thinking. very good so we have here right the the movement of our hands what is the meaning it says that when you have your hands under tenemos las manos debajo, right some people can think that we are not telling the truth right and that when you have your hands like this it means you are thinking so que estamos pensando right in something or thinking about the answer okay so let's go with the next one where are you looking? Can you help me, Jorge? May mm -hmm. I ask contact 
when you are talking to someone face to face, it is important to look at them. This shows that you are listening to, to them. Mm -hmm. Learn to use positive body language. After all, what you do make communicate more than 90% of your message. Yes, right. Look, can la gente perceive, right? What people perceive, it is 90%, right? As you can see here, it, it is important to pay attention to people and uh, look at him eye to eye, right? Okay, this is very interesting, right? So what, let's talk about the present continuous. What is a sentence in the present continuous here? Una oración en el presente continuo, Ellen Nilsson. A sentence. Una oración, Ellen Nilsson. Usando el present continuous. ¿Cuál sería? There are a lot of examples. Hay muchos ejemplos. Uh -huh. Ellen Nilsson. You are list listening. Okay. We have that you are. Okay. Listening. Where, where is that? In which uh, number, Ellen Nilsson? The, the first one. Okay, it's the first the one. last part. Yes. Oh, the last part. Oh, you are listening, right? Another, there are a lot, right? Ah, uh, no, uh, pero la veía en la primera. Oh, oh, sorry. The first paragraph? En el yes. párrafo? Okay, sí. let's see. Even cultures. Número 10. Number 10. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, another one. Another example. Hay muchos. Ellen Nilsson. You are about? thinking. Okay, perfect. You are thinking. Tenemos otro. We have another. Mm -hmm. We have more. And I'm here? not telling. Okay, not telling, right? You are not. Este sería una negativa, right? A negative sentence. You are He's not saying. telling. He what is. What he or she is saying. What he. Saying. Yes, right. What. Arriba okay. del 10. Uh, up. See what? Oh, yeah, what? He or she is saying, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, and we have more. We have, are you crossing your arms? What are your hands doing, right? So this can be some of the present continuous sentences. You are thinking. You are thinking. We have another two. And there it is, right? Okay, basically that. Looking? What do you think about the paragraph, the text, uh, Ivania? What do you think about the text? Is that true or it is not? Is it true? It's true, me. It's true, right? <laughs> it's true. Yes. Yeah. Yes, right. It is true. It is true, right? A veces no miramos a la gente a los ojos. It means that we are distracted, right? That we don't care about what they are saying. So this is something that we have to keep in mind. Okay, let's continue with the lesson. That is just a reading, right? So let's check the rules for the present continuous. Estuvimos estudiando el día de ayer que las reglas, vamos a agregar el ing to the verb, right? Y también vamos a utilizar how the verb to be, de acuerdo con el subject. Ok, so let's see the first rule. Nos dice lo que ya estudiamos, que vamos a agregar ing to the verb. Eh, si tenemos un verbo que termina en e, vamos a quitar la e de letter e y vamos a agregar ing. Tenemos live, living, right? Make, making, write, writing. En el caso del verbo be o en el verbo see, solo le vamos a agregar ing. Tenemos el siguiente que es el verbo lie, mentir. Va a cambiarles la forma. Vamos a quitar IE y le vamos a agregar a Y. Lying, right? You are lying. Mentir, right? You are lying. Or she is lying. And we have then el verbo sit. Tenemos el verbo sit. Que vamos a duplicar la T, right? Luego tenemos put. También vamos a duplicar. We are going to duplicate. Tenemos el verbo get. That the same, right? En el caso de grow, vamos a agregar ing. Fix ing and say ing. Okay, no sé si hay dudas about the rules, right? For 
when we use the present continuous. No questions? No questions, okay, good guys. So basically that, okay, give me a sentence utilizando eh, the verb uh, fix, el verbo arreglar, Yanira. Una oración utilizando el verbo fix. Uh -huh. Okay, Alberto, eh, got it. Uh -huh. she, uh -huh. She's fixing the blouse. Okay, she is fixing, right? Fixing the blouse, right? The blouse. Okay, the blouse. Okay, what about another, Josue? Can you say a sentence using the verb uh, write, for example? El verbo escribir, write, write. A sentence. Hagámoslo en negativo, Josue. Negative sentence. Mm -hmm. She is. Mm -hmm. She is. ¿Con cuál, con cuál verbo me dijo? Perdón. El verbo write. Escribir write. Mm -hmm. eh, she is. She is. Mm -hmm. Negativa right. She is. Not. Mm -hmm. eh, Writing is not writing a letter. Okay, very good, Josué, thank you. Okay, another sentence. Uh, Samuel, please give me a sentence uh, using the verb leave. Leave, utilizando el verbo leave, pero como pregunta, as a question, right? Hmm, Samuel? Hola. Ok, a question, una pregunta, utilizando como, uh, utilizando, using the verb leave. Uh, uh, Vivir, right? Ok. Como so pregunta, we'll as a question. Question. Uh -huh. And the, is, is flower leave? Okay, is, let's see, I'm sorry, is? Flower vive, la flor, la flor vive? Mm -hmm. oh, maybe we can change that, because in that case sería, is the flower, is the oh, flower okay. alive? Okay, ese sería como la translation. So we can say, for example, is Lorena living in Santa Ana? Is Lorena be, uh, living in Santa Ana? Hello. Yes, Lorena, are you living in Santa Ana? Uh, no, I am not. Where are you living? Where are you living? Okay. ¿Dónde está viviendo? Where are you living? I am uh, living in mm -hmm. Lourdes. In Lourdes, okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, there it is. I don't know if you have questions about the, the rules. Do you have questions? Mm, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Yes, eh, Jorge. Mm -hmm. mm, digamos, living mm -hmm. is, uh, she is Santa Ana in the moment. She's living, ella está viviendo, right, in Santa Ana. Tiene que estar en Santana para estar allá. No. No, no, that, that, that was just a question. Solo es una pregunta. It can change, right? Puede cambiar. It can any place, right? Al cualquier lugar. Okay? So there it is, guys. This is very important, the rules when we are writing. Okay, so we have these rules too. En el caso del verbo begin, comenzar, vamos a duplicar, right? Begin, beginning, right? Empezan, empezando. Listen, en el caso del verbo listen, solo vamos a agregar ing, travel, ing, and visit, ing. Okay, so there are some of the rules there. These are like the ones that, the verbs that most of us use. Okay, so let's go with this um, exercise. The first one, can you help me, Glenda, with number two? 
Hi, Miss. Mm -hmm. She's learning. She is leaning, right? She leaning. is leaning. leaning. Or she is, se está acercando, right? She is leaning. Mm -hmm. Toward the men. Okay. Thank you, Glenda. Okay. Ruth, please. Eh, number three. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la number three? Uh, he, he is. Mm -hmm. He's. Uh, le... Tenemos el verbo smile. Oh, Smiling. He is he, okay. He is, he is smiling. Smiling, okay, muy bien. Smiling. Very good. He is smiling. Él está sonriendo. Yes. Okay. Okay, si nos fijamos acá, la letter E cambia y la vamos a agregar uh -huh. ING. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Let's continue, please, Guadalupe, with number four, the men. The man is listening to her. Yes, right. The man is listening to her. Okay. Thank you. The next one. Can you help me? Uh, and let's see. Eden Nilsson, please. Can you help me? Number five. They making a eye contact. They making. Making something is missing. What is missing ahí? ¿Qué nos hace falta, Denilson? They making are... Mm, no. Algo no nos hace abajo. falta. They yes. They are making exactly. eye contact. Yes, they are making eye contact. Eye. Very good. Thank you, Denilson. Then Ruth, please. What about number six? They are mm -hmm. getting, getting. They are getting. Está bien getting. así. Está bien así eh, el getting. Que, getting. Mm -hmm. eh, yes. Mm, are you no, sure? No, eh, eh, es, es. Tenemos y, que duplicar, y, right? Getting. Sí. Getting, Alonso, se están mm -hmm. llevando bien, Get, right? Uh -huh. Getting alone. alone. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. So, do you have questions, guys, about, uh, for example, the rules? Uh, something you have a doubt, maybe? No? Okay, good, guys. So, let's practice, right? Let's practice. And uh, based on this paragraph, you are going to write your own paragraph. Okay, based on on this example, vamos a escribir your own letter. Vamos a escribir una carta, right, to your partner. Okay, vamos a leer entonces this paragraph. Se los voy a compartir. And then, ustedes van a escribir una, una letter a su compañero. Vamos a escribir an email to your partner. And uh, you, usted le va a describir what you are doing at the moment. And imagine you're sitting in a room with other people. Van a describir lo que está a su alrededor. What are those people doing? Eh, describe somebody's language, for, for example, los que ya vimos. What feelings that she show? Por ejemplo, qué sentimientos, qué emociones son las que muestra. Is he boring? Is he sad? Is he happy? Etc. So, do you have questions? No? Okay. So, vamos a hacer entonces este paragraph. It's going to be around 50 words, so you can practice the present continuous. Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms, and I give you five minutes for that activity, and then you are going to share with me your information. Okay, in the WhatsApp, I will be sharing your the pictures, right? So, do you have questions, guys, before going? Alguna pregunta de la actividad? Questions? Or are we okay? Hey, mi, mm -hmm. La carta es este, bajo cualquier tema y elegir al compañero. Por ejemplo, lo que usted está haciendo en este momento, eh, lo que están haciendo sus compañeros a, a su alrededor, por ejemplo, eh, podemos incluir acerca del body language. Si ellos tienen las crossing arms, significa que están eh, boring, right? Or they are sad or they are not agree. 
Entonces podemos también incluir esa información. Ok. Ok, también les voy a compartir el ejemplo para que ustedes puedan eh, tomar algunas ideas. Ok, guys, no more questions. Eh, ¿Cuántas palabras serían 50 palabras por el párrafo? Ok, so let's go. And then we are going to be checking your, your um, writing activity. Let's go. Hello, eh, Lorena, Alberto, questions, ¿cómo vamos? Alberto, how are you? Ok. Hola, hola, Rita. Hola, Lorena, hello, ¿cómo vamos? Hello. Eh, hello. Tuvimos problemas, voy, eh, voy a ver si la puedo enviar al grupo nuevamente. Ok. Ok. Gracias. Gracias. Ok. Hola, no, no, no sé. Lorena. Ya, hola, ya, hola. ya le cayó la invitación. Ahorita, vamos a ver, es que no me he podido conectar al WhatsApp web, me está dando problema. Tiene que aparecer ahí, unirse, ahí en la llamada, en esta.
Hello, guys. Do you have questions or are we okay? No questions? Hello. Hello, Gabriela. Are we okay? Uh -huh. El verbo sí, con las reglas que nos explicó, sería sí, sí, solo oh. cambia ING, ¿verdad? Just, solo tenemos que agregar ING, yes. Just have ah, ok. It. Y siempre I... sería sí, ING. Sí. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Ok, we are good, right? Ok, I let you work, guys. Hello, guys. Do you have questions? Hola, do you have questions? Hello, Ivania. George, questions? Or are we cool? Are we okay? Mm, I'm okay. We are doing great. Okay, no problem. In case you have questions, let me know. Okay, I let you work, guys. <laughs> Hello, Rita, Glenda, Janira, questions or are we okay? Not yet, not yet. Don't worry, don't worry, ladies. <laughs> Just in case you have questions, solo si tienen duda. Mm -hmm. Ay, un montón. Okay, can I help you with something? Al participar se nos va a quitar la duda. Okay, no questions then, no hay dudas. Es que me quedó la duda. Miss, eh, nosotros lo entendimos así como describiendo, bueno, yo estoy trabajando desde casa, eh, uh -huh. pero estaba describiendo a Yanira, uh -huh. o sea, depende de lo que veo que está haciendo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Así es, ¿verdad? Ok, eh, no sé si pudo ver la imagen que les mandé del párrafo. Este uh -huh. no sé. Entonces acá también les compartí este ejemplo. Ok, acá por ejemplo usted puede decir I am in my home, for example, and uh, I'm living with my, my husband, my mother, y usted como en este trabajo puede describir como lo que están haciendo ellos. Ok, Rita, o oh, sí. Si lo podemos hacer acerca de lo que están haciendo sus compañeras o también como usted eh, mencionaba que sabe de casa lo que están haciendo su familia también. Ah, ok. It can Perfect. be both. Hmm? Okay, ok, no questions. Guys, ok, good. I let you work. And podemos ver el ejemplo también. You can take some ideas. Ah, ok. okay. I let you work, guys. I let you work. Hello, Ellen Nilsson and Samuel, do you have questions? Hmm? No questions? Did you finish with your writing? ¿Ya terminamos con eh, la tarea? Or not yet? Yes? No? Or not yet? No questions? Okay. Veo que estamos bien entonces, guys. I let you work then. Okay, guys, I let you work. Ruth and Jose, do you have questions? Estamos bien, or do you have questions? Este... Hello. Hello, Jose. Eh, uh, todavía no hace should... falta. Eh, yo ya había hecho el mío, pero no sé si está bien así como lo he hecho, pero no sé si hay que aplicarle según el ejemplo. Ok, eh, podemos tomar las ideas, ¿verdad? Nos están, por ejemplo, indicando lo que están haciendo los compañeros, eh, eh, indicando también lo del body language y también indicando los sentimientos que se muestran con el body language. Si podemos hacer oh. eso, it's going to be great, right? The more you write, the better. Okay, uh, what about you, Josué? Tell me, do you have questions or are we okay? 
eh, yo creí que se tenía que hacer solamente la, la, eh, la carta, o sea, hacia el compañero. Uh -huh. Pero eh, tenía que aplicar. Ok. Eh, según lo que es la, 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 el ejemplo. Ok, podemos aplicar lo que dice el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Recordemos que estas preguntas que tenemos acá están relacionadas con este ejemplo. Ajá. Ok, que vamos a incluir en la carta. Por ejemplo, eh, lo que usted está haciendo en este momento. What are you doing? Eh, por, en su caso, que está desde el trabajo. ¿Qué es lo que están haciendo las personas alrededor suyo? Eh, ¿Qué es lo que, por ejemplo, que, cómo están? Si algunos están con los eh, brazos cruzados, eh, si algunos están escribiendo, si algunos están eh, leyendo o algo. ¿Y qué emociones le transmiten ellos, right? Cuando usted los mira o si están así, leaning, por ejemplo. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que ellos le transmiten? Que ellos están boring, por ejemplo, o que ellos están tired. Entonces podemos incluir all of these expressions. ¿Ok? Ok. Boring, en caso que estén aburridos o que están cansados, sad, or that they are happy también, ¿verdad? Happy. Ok. Creo que están happy, por ahí escuché que se están riendo. Yes. <laughs> ok, I let you work. Let me know if you have more questions so I can help you. Okay, are we okay, okay. Josué? Y ahorita continúo. Okay, perfect.
Okay, guys, hope you finished. So let's start with some of your descriptions, right? About your partners, about the, what, they, what they were doing and uh, the feelings, right? Let's start with uh, Samuel. Are you ready, Samuel? <laughs> it was a surprise. <laughs> okay, let me know if you are ready, please. Uh, yo lo hice cortito, teacher. Okay, okay go ahead. Okay. Uh, voy con, 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 con L. Nilsson. Vale. Okay. L. va a comenzar primero. Uh -huh. No te escucho. L. Ah. Okay, okay. Is there no, a yo, problem? No, no escucho a L. No, we can't hear you. Okay, let's see. Maybe you can start, Samuel. Then Ellen Nilsson can continue. Hi, Miss. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Yeah. Eh, el micrófono de Glenda. Okay. Dear Mr. Samuel, it's a pleasure meeting you. Comment that tomorrow it will be taking vacation. Please be aware of my email. Bet regards. Best rewards. Okay, okay. <laughs> Good afternoon. Okay. Mr. L. Nilsson. I it is a place to greet you. I will the gladest support at you tomorrow. They have a happy vacation. Bye. <laughs> okay, and the description of your partners. Okay, solo me faltó la descripción de sus partners, right? De sus compañeros. Okay, very short, right? Okay, thank you, Samuel and Ellen Nilsson. Let's listen now, uh, Glenda and partner, please. I miss description. Mm -hmm. My partner, Rita Velázquez. Belong to the Salestin. Uh, she's working from home. Mm -hmm is sending emails, is wearing glasses to mm -hmm. work. She is working from home because she is sick. Okay. And wear your high. Um, tiene el cabello atado, como se. Where, okay. She has, right? Es que siempre tiene el cabello suelto, pero lo tiene atado. And Rita Velázquez is very strict with her work. Okay, she's very strict with her work. Okay, that's, that's great. great. That's okay, great. okay. Who was your partner, Glenda? Who was your partner? Janira. Okay, Janira, can you present yours? Hi. Uh, my partner, my partner Glenda, is in the office. Mm -hmm. She is writing. Is the computer. Uh, she's wearing a sweater, light blue, uh, jeans, and red shoes. Uh, Glenda is sitting behind to me. She's talking for cell phone. She's happy because she's helping the pets. Okay, Only very good. That's it. Mm -hmm. okay, that's it. Okay. Oh, Solo recordemos que es, eh, she's wearing a light blue sweater, right? Uh -huh. Pero van los colores antes de la palabra. Eso sería sweater. She's wearing a light blue sweater, right? Y la otra expression, she's talking by phone right now. Está hablando por teléfono, right? She's uh -huh. talking by phone. Okay, perfect. Yanira, can you con please continue? Uh -huh. Ivania. Uh -huh. Rita. Oh, I'm sorry, Rita. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rita. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, okay continue. Uh, I described it to my partner Janina. Um, 
Uh, I think uh, Janira is working in the office. Uh, and in this moment, uh, she is uh, using the Mac. And uh, she looks always, always, she looks French, uh, French face. It's correct. French, French what? The, the makeup. Makeup. Uh -huh. Makeup. She is wearing French face. Uh huh. The, the looks. Look okay. like. Uh huh. She looks. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. French. French. The, the face. French and the face. French and maybe you Luz can. Fresca, algo así. <laughs> oh, she looks French, French and cool, right? Okay, mm. perfect. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> and um, she's enjoying her the work. Mm -hmm. um, only that. That's it. Okay, that's it. Perfect. That's it. Okay, very good. That's it. Okay, perfect, Rita. <laughs> She looks fresh and okay. cool, right? And she is wearing makeup. Okay. Está usando maquillaje y se okay. ve fresh, right? Y relajada and cool. Okay, thank you, Rita. Okay. Thank you. Let's continue with Ivania. Ivania's group. Okay, miss. Uh, me first. My letter is for Albert, mm -hmm. but... I don't describe anyone, and it's a joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, darling. I am. I'm at work at the moment, but I'm studying English. However, I'm doing. i doing a letter for you in my break because I'm missing you, especially with this weather. Here it's cold. And I'm meeting your bear hugs. Also, my partners are boring. I hope to see you to see you <laughs> to see you soon. Hugs and kisses. Anyway. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a joke, right? It is a joke. <laughs> yes. Okay. He is my perfect. brother. <laughs> oh, he's your I thought he was your yeah. lover. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he is your brother. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Thank you, Ivania. So let's listen to the other uh, your other partners, Ed and Nilsson. Albert or Okay, perfect. Albert and Ed and Nilsson, who is going to present. Okay. Hi Ivania. I am the expert department. There are four partners. All of them are very busy. Ivania is in, um, perdón, eh, acá puse el otro nombre. Nicole is in class. She's wearing a blue jacket and she's typing many sentences. She looks happy. Uh, the door is open. The weather is freezing. Alberto is in the operations department and he is eating a, an apple. He is not sitting with his arms crossed. That is all from from me for the moment. Bye. Okay, perfect. At the moment, right? That is all for me at, at the, the moment. moment. Okay, perfect. And Nilsson, thank you. The next person is Albert. So Albert, let, let, let us know if you are ready. Uh, yes. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay. Hi, Nilsson. How are you? I am well. Let me uh, tell about of my day. I am a student with my partners of the office. In the office, my partners are wearing letters <laughs> yeah. because it's uh, homework. Janira is smiling. She is happy because we are learning English with the teacher guys. Mm, well, well, I am going to the group general in, at the moment. Bye. Good luck with your customers. Okay. Good luck, right? Good luck with your customers. Okay. 
Thank you. Good luck, right, with your customers. Okay, let's continue with the next uh, group that is going to be Carlos Cabrera and Guadalupe. Are you ready, guys? Carlos Cabrera and Guadalupe? Yes. Uh, hi, Guadalupe. I am learning English class in the moment. There are a lot of partners here. Uh, they are making home, 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 homework. Mm -hmm. Well, Luke is always working in the department operation. Oh, sorry, operation department, making manifests, etc. She all day have stress. When I I am talking, she is nervous, and in some case, uh, she is serving at uh, 12 p.m. o'clock. Mm -hmm. Uh, Guadalupe angry when receiving call from Norma Merlo because the customer is very special. <laughs> For me, always the customer is very special. She gives many chips uh, around in the world. Okay, and special customer, right? How do you deal yeah. with that customer, Carlos? How can you deal with that customer? Como li uh, deal? Como lidiamos, right? How do you deal uh, with that? I think uh, the customer, I, how do you say, Escucha? Listen. Listen uh, the question, listen the- The concerns, uh, right? The concern. In other case, listen at the problem personal. Personal yes. problems, okay. Yes. And this business is very important have a uh, friendly in the friendly mind a friendly mind yeah friendly mind yes right you are completely right right dealing with customers it is not like a, it's not easy right it is not yeah okay very good thank you carlos let us listen now uh the last minute to guadalupe dimas please uh, hi, everybody. Um, I learn English class in the moment. The other father, partner is to the English class too. They are making tutoria, so writing other listening ideas. I see a lot of concerts trying to do a good, good job. My class is very interesting. interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, they are concent concent concentrados. concentrate concentrate in English class. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I not ideas in the moment. I don't this email uh, with my partner Carlos Barrera. He is serious, he is handsome and elegant. Only. <laughs> Oh, Carlos, you are serious, you are elegant <laughs> and funny, right? Okay, thank you, Alupi. Excellent job. Just uh, some ideas, solo algunas oraciones. Remember, cuando estamos diciendo, haciendo la tarea, she is doing right, doing homeworks. Cuando estamos diciendo, ella tiene mucho stress. She is stressed, right? Y está estresada. She is. O ella tiene, she is stressed. Okay, so we have uh, listen, and basically that was some of the uh, sentences, right? Okay, guys, if there are no more questions, I will say goodbye to all of you. Thank you so much for coming and hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good day and don't, and sleep a lot, Samuel, okay? Bye-bye, <laughs> guys, see you, see you. Bye. Have a good day, see you guys. See you, bye. Bye.